Hi everyone, it's Cheyenne here and today I'm going to be sharing with you all a bunch of vegan food that I ate this week. And obviously I tried to film as much as I could, but I want to add a disclaimer that please assume that I'm snacking on other things throughout the day. Obviously I can't film absolutely everything I eat, but this video is just mainly for the purpose of vegan meal ideas. If you are someone that is transitioning to a plant-based lifestyle, I hope it is helpful for you. Aside from being plant-based at this point in life, I'm trying to not be restrictive with what I eat. So hopefully this can give you a more realistic view of what someone who avoids animal products might be eating like. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so yeah, day one. On Sunday, I decided to utilize some leftovers I had from a local vegan Jamaican spot. If you know me, you know I hate food waste and will always try to finish up any kind of leftovers I have in my fridge. So for this, I just made a just egg omelet, basically using some leftover curried jackfruit and steamed cabbage. And then on the side, I also heated up the leftover black beans and falafel that I had from my meal. And then because a lot of the foods had like a very safe savory like spicy taste. I also added a few raspberries just to brighten up the overall flavor. Something that I look for in my meals is that they have a good source of protein. So here that was the just egg that comes from mung beans. Also lots of nutrients from the black beans, good fats, and some antioxidants from the berries. Overall this was a very delicious and filling meal. I'm happy I was able to reinvent my leftovers in this way. For lunch, I guess, on this day, it really was just another breakfast meal, but that's on intuitive eating. Um, <laughs> I decided to make a protein yogurt bowl. I used the Forager strawberry yogurt, about one and a half cups of that. And I also added one scoop of this Vega unsweetened protein powder. It also has greens, which is always a bonus. On top, I just added some berries, some raw local honey, which I personally don't have a problem with consuming, but of course that's personal choice. <laughs> Lastly, I added some chia seeds and some unsweetened coconut shreds. I think you saw some I love this meal because it's super filling due to the protein, but it still feels like you're eating a dessert. Definitely recommend you try this one at home. When it was time for dinner, I decided to beef up some more leftovers and make like a harvest veggie vodka penne pasta. Sorry if there's more leftovers in this video than there usually would be. I'm living at home at the moment, so I kind of just have to make use of whatever's in the fridge. Again, never want food to go to waste. But yeah, this just had some shiitake mushrooms, a lot of garlic, zucchini squash, broccoli stems, this vegan vodka sauce, which is store-bought but really delicious, and a heaping ton of nutritional yeast, as always. On Monday morning, I woke up to a snowstorm and wanted something warm and comforting, so I decided to apply my same like protein yogurt bowl concept to a bowl of oatmeal instead. So yeah, I just made half a cup of that with one cup of plant milk. For toppings, I decided on half a banana and some blueberries. And for the protein powder, chances are if you balance it out correctly, I let it get a little too dry before I added the protein powder this time, but usually if you just don't cook it down all the way, it won't taste like protein powder and it'll still be really creamy and delicious but yeah for toppings i just use this jojo's chocolate some cinnamon more chia seeds and more coconut shreds again felt like dessert for breakfast because why not and this chocolate you guys it melts so divinely it was so delicious since I had my breakfast kind of late, I guess the next meal I filmed was a little snack. It was super yummy though, just some Violife cheese, red grapes, and table crackers. And when it came time for dinner, I think I was feeling a little lazy on this night, so I very quickly just threw together a vegan Alfredo sauce and had that with some spaghetti and some roasted vegetables. This meal was so quick and easy and very delicious. The only thing I would probably do different next time is add a protein. Now on to Tuesday. 
This is my default breakfast. This is what I have when I've had a long night or I have school that day and I don't want to think about anything too much. I just whip up a quick just egg scramble and put it on some multi-grain toast with some hot sauce. And I like to have some fruit on the side as well. But yeah, this is like my go-to. Don't even have to think about it. This is what I make as my default. And then I guess because I again had a very late breakfast, my next meal was an early dinner of some curry that my dear boyfriend brought over for me to eat. I think I was just super busy this day and didn't have time to cook, so all I did was make some quinoa on the side that he had also <laughs> brought me. Um, but if you guys want the recipe for this curry, I will include it like in the comments. Right now, I do not have access to it. I'm sorry, but it's extremely easy. It's even easier if you have curry paste because then you don't have to gather the spices yourself like he did, I'm sure. But yeah, this definitely hit the spot. Love doing a little dollop of hummus on top super delicious and then for dessert later that night i just had some chocolate chip cookies that i made with a pre-made plant-based dough from the grocery store on wednesday i actually decided to get a little creative and use some of the leftover curry from the day before to make like an egg bagel sandwich now i know this might sound blasphemous to some of you but i promise it was really really delicious and i would have added veggies into my vegan eggs anyways so why not have them be seasoned super deliciously with a little bit of extra complex carbs added in there from the quinoa and of course adding a little extra salt and pepper never hurts i did my best to shape it into like the shape of the bagel but a small cast iron pan probably would have worked better so yeah i just toasted a sesame bagel which is my favorite kind and then i added a little bit of earth balance for that moisture quotient gosh at this point in the voiceovers i always start getting a little silly how do I keep things from getting out of hand? Anyways, <laughs> I added Cholula and voila. This was probably actually the tastiest thing that I ate like all week out of this entire video. And I know it might be a little hard to recreate because I didn't give you the curry recipe, but <laughs> just know it was really, really good. A little bit later on in the day, I decided to make some more cookies. These were just, I don't know, they really hit the spot. They were so delicious. I had mine with a little bit of English breakfast tea. As you can see, the brand is called Sweet Lauren. So if you can find it at your local grocery store, I definitely recommend trying them out. And then for dinner, neither my mom or I felt like cooking. So we got this vegan margarita pizza from a local pizza place that has vegan cheese, which was revolutionary in the first place. I got it topped with crispy eggplant. I usually get crispy oyster mushrooms but they were out so tried something a little different this time and yeah i probably had like half the pizza it was so good On Thursday morning for breakfast, I decided to have yet another bagel, but this time with a side of just egg scramble. Because I don't have a toaster at home, I just cut my bagel in half, put it in the oven for a little bit, and then went on to make my scramble. This time I just added earth balance, about half of a scallion, some frozen spinach, my just egg, some salt, pepper, and I think garlic powder even I added this time. So yeah, once that was all done, I went ahead and prepped my bagel. This is my favorite vegan cream cheese. It's the Tofuti brand. I don't know why. I just love the texture and the taste is not offensive in any way, which is always the goal. And then added some Cholula and some blueberries. Also, another random thing I did, I added dried goji berries to my bagel. I don't know why. I just felt like it needed something else and it actually tasted pretty good. They're not very strong in flavor, so I figured it was a nice way to add a little extra superfood in there. 10 out of 10 overall for sure. For lunch, I decided to make some chickpea pasta, which honestly, I'm surprised I didn't make more in this video. I freaking love chickpea pasta, mostly because you can have like the taste and the feel of pasta while having so much extra added protein. But yeah, it's definitely one of my staples. After setting my pasta to boil, I just started off in a pan with some vegan chicken and shiitake mushrooms. I also added a ton of kale for my greens and then a bunch of that vegan pasta sauce that I was talking about before. I decided to get a little crazy with it too and add some vegan cheese on top just so it would get extra melty. I think this was the Daya brand in addition to adding nutritional yeast. And yeah, this meal was super filling, really cozy and delicious. And of course, as always, you can add whatever other seasonings you would like. Walking down the four lane dealer 
shit. That night for dinner, my dear friend Katie was in town. OG subbies will know exactly who she is. We ordered Persian food to all share together. It was so delicious. This is from my absolute favorite restaurant ever. It's in the city. It's called Persepolis. And I always get the lentil stew. It has eggplant as well. And they have cherry rice, dill rice. And I also love to get the salad shirazi. On Friday, I'm sorry, I forgot to film my breakfast. I think I just had another egg bagel sandwich. But for lunch, Rob and I were road tripping, so I just grabbed an Impossible Burger from Burger King, and it was low-key really good. Um, <laughs> and then I'm sorry, I forgot to film my dinner again, but as a late night snack, I just had a bowl of cornflakes with berries, a sprinkle of brown sugar, and some oat milk. And I don't know if you guys have ever craved cereal at night, but this just really hit the spot. On Saturday morning, it was our first day at this cabin that we were staying at. So I did nothing too crazy for breakfast. Just again, a bagel, cream cheese, just egg scramble. You guys know the drill. But then for lunch, I decided I was gonna try to make like a creamy tomato chicken noodle soup kind of concoction. Uh, to make it creamy, I used coconut milk. You can see all the ingredients on the screen, but yeah, this meal was, again, I feel like I always say comforting, but that's really what I go for with food. I don't wanna be eating something, especially in the dead of winter, that doesn't feel like a warm hug. So yeah, that was lunch. I actually posted a brief tutorial of how to make this soup on my TikTok. If you wanna follow me over there, I'll be posting lots more food content soon and then for dinner Rob made another curry this time he added potatoes chickpeas kale onions and I made some red quinoa on the side lastly I topped it off with my favorite unsweetened coconut yogurt that just kind of served to cut all the savoriness and spice and yeah that's a pretty good roundup of all the things I've been eating lately you could probably tell it's nothing crazy being in school right now I don't exactly have the time to come up with tons of novel recipes and stuff like that but again, if you are someone who is interested in going plant-based or even vegan, I hope this video offered you some inspiration and maybe gave you an example of how you can be vegan or plant-based and not restrict yourself at all. I'm just realizing now I ate so many carbs in this week, but I didn't think about it twice because if that's what my body was craving for fuel, that is nowhere near a bad thing. So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're not yet. Go ahead and comment down below any recipes recipes you'd like to see me try next and I'll see you in my next one. Eat well and be happy. Bye!